Hey everybody, happy 4th of July. I hope you guys have some really fun things planned for the day. Maybe going to the lake yeah. or to the beach or something like that. Hopefully you're out in the sun. And hopefully our June app challenge that we just finished last week help you get ready for wearing a bathing suit. Um, today we have our 4th of July workout, which is actually one of our longer workouts. I think we have Longest. about nine exercises for you to do because we really want you to earn those hot dogs you're about to eat later. So we're just gonna jump right in. Um, I'll put names for all of the exercises on the screen as we do them and Matt will explain what we're doing for each one. As always, we're gonna do this one time through and then you guys are gonna follow up with two more full circuits. So let's just jump right in. So guys, we got flies. This is three position flies. So we are training literally every muscle in the back and also in the arms. So this is a fantastic exercise. If you have back problems, um, don't bend over as much. You must just modify it. You can even do these just standing straight up. We're going to show a bent over position so it actually strengthens your spine, but also strengthens your hamstrings and your glutes, so it tones them up as well. So we're going to start out with a side fly bent over. So we're going to bend over, keep your back as straight as you can, arms out to the side, raise your arms up to the side, looking straight ahead. If you have neck problems, you can look straight down. That's okay. So we're doing 20 of these. How many we got? Five. You're two thirds of the way there. Uh, that's not math. That was not accurate. You're 25 percent. Don't lie to them. Okay, shoulders are starting to burn. Yep, 12. I should have used a lighter 15. weight. 15. I told you. 14. <laughs> oh boy. 15. 16. 17. 18. That 19. And 20. 20. Woo. Okay, now we go right into front fly. So again, bent over position. This time we're going forward, so this is strengthening shoulders and your biceps, actually. So we're gonna race forward, hopefully up to the shoulder height 20 times. Two. Two. Yeah, Matt handed me six pound weights, and I was like, you kidding me, right? And he goes, no, you're fine. <laughs> what are you using, eight? Eight, I'm dying. Ouch. Okay. 10, halfway there. Burn is full effect, full burn on the shoulders and arms. Keep that back straight, keep your legs straight. Everything should be working. 15. Your back's getting sore, you can come up a little bit. You can do a, a straight up standing position. 18, 19, and 20. Hey okay, guys, so now just reverse it and go up. One. Going after triceps here and what's called posterior deltoids. So you're getting uh, a lot of triceps, a lot of rear shoulder, and actually you're getting some uh, lats. That's the big muscle in your back that covers your armpit. So multiple muscles here. And my lower back, my mid back are working, so are my glutes and hamstrings. 16. Woo! I am burning. 18, 19, and 20. Woo. Okay, guys, we got squats. So, what we're doing is we're placing our heels up on something. So, at people's homes, you know, a book, a two by four piece of wood, anything you can elevate your heels on, that allows you to squat down deeper without compromising your lower back. So, what we're gonna do, just get some weights, you know, fours, fives, up to 10 pound weights, preferably on the shoulders, which makes it harder, or you can hold them at your side, on the arse, on our shoulders. We're gonna squat down to the bench. The glutes should touch, in your case, will probably be a chair at your home, and then you come back up. Notice how straight my back is. I'm not leaning over, my back is straight as possible. So let's start, 20 reps. We're at seven, by the way. Okay, whoop, there you go. <laughs> Keep that back straight. You should be breathing out, exhaling as you come up, inhaling as you go down. Definitely feeling this in my hammies. If you feel any knee pain, um, just adjust how deep you're going. 19 and 20. Woo. Nicely done. Uh, more legs, so uh, it's not only legs here, uh, mostly legs, but we've also got some upper body because the upper body is going to be supporting you a lot, kind of plank type positions, which is great for everything. So first one we're going to do is a front leg kick. So we're going to bend your left knee, place a foot flat on the ground, flex, what we call dorsiflex, your foot, rotate that foot and knee slightly inwards, raise your glutes off, so we get a little bit of a bridge going on, and raise your right leg up to the height of this leg. Doing 10 reps. That was easy. Keep going. We're gonna do 20. Whoa, we're going 20. Woo! Going big. Going big for 4th of July. Okay, and switch. Yeah, I was like, let's just do 10. It'll be easy. 
easier to count out, but then when it gets too easy. If this is bothering your wrist, you can use just the ground and your elbows. So you can go down to your elbows instead of your hands. Or take breaks. 18, 19, and 20. Woo! Okay hey guys, so we're going to be doing some side leg kicks from a side plank position. So two ways of doing this. Easier version, and maybe you want to start out this way, is go hips up and then do a side kick from here, which is great. The advanced version would be both legs out and hips come up, and then doing your side kicks from there for 10 reps. Ready? Three, two, one, and blast off. One. Five, halfway. All right. Flip to the other side. Flip to the other side. And just go right into it. Ready, go. We're going to get into one of two positions, again, based upon your strength and your back. If your wrists are okay, stay in this. If not, these can be done from elbows. We're going to be showing you from a wrist position. Now, from here, you have to go into a regular plank or you go into modified. And we're going to be doing um, a fire hydrant. So, raising the leg out to the side. We're going to be showing you this from the standard plank position. We're here and raising the leg out to the side with the knee bent to 90 degrees. Good. Keep that back straight. Don't let your hips sag. Woo! Ten more. Burning. It's all working. Every muscle in the body. And that's 20. So give yourself a stretch break if you need one. Woo! And go right in to the other side. Keep your back flat. Watch your form. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. These are tough. Work through it. You can do it. Woo! Burn, baby. Fourth of July hot dogs. One more, and you're done. So happy Fourth of July again from us both. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. It was definitely one of our longer ones. Man. Lots of body movement. Woo. I think every muscle in my body got worked out in this exercise. So make sure you go through two more times really are the food you're gonna eat later. So make sure you guys have a great day. Make sure you check out all of the links down below. Matt's website is down there. Social media are down there and so is a link to the blog where you can visit all of our exercises. Almost a year worth of workouts. Like this video if you feel the burn and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you guys can see all of our Monday with Matt workouts. We post basically every Monday as the name would imply. So we will see you guys next week with another workout. Bye.